Good morning! It's day 19! Here we go, I'm out for a quick trip to Stirling. Heart of Scotland. All that good stuff. I'm going to pick up a car. Look at this, we're about to pass the Scottish Guilds. See, it looks slightly more evil than it looks in the pictures. In the dark, they freak Jim out. She doesn't like the colours and the glowing aspect of it. I can understand that. Troubled her a few times. Ooh. Scotland in January. Oh, there it is, Stirling Castle. Right there. And right there we have a sleeping body. <laughs> Stirling Castle is my favourite castle. I really enjoy visiting Stirling. It's really nice. Through the mist is Yeah, I don't think you can see it so well. The castle in the monument. Ready, peekaboo, I see you. Hanging out in the car. For ages waiting for daddy. And daddy's signing all the paperwork for a new car for the business. Yeah? yeah. In the garage. In Stirling. Yeah, we passed Stirling Castle. We passed the Wallace Monument. In fact, the Wallace Monument is hiding just behind that building right in front of us. And it's right behind there. I believe the castle's right behind us as well. <laughs> it is. Just the, castle. the castle's behind us. If you stay awake, you might see it on the way home. Huh? <laughs> you were sleeping when we passed the castle. It with a new car for the business. Yay! Yay! How many cars does this business own? Currently, one, two, three. Seven cars. This is the seventh car at the moment in our business, which is Molly made, with our number. This one's going away. It is, that was an old Dead. car. And, oh no, six, because I just had one taken away, so. <laughs> it was six or seven. It is Keeps six. changing. <laughs> Brand new car. Just drove back from Stirling in it. Lovely. I think I would have that car for myself. I like it. Nice car. Oh, it is away again. Off to get Gemma from school. It's that time of the day. Got JD with us. Gemma should be happy about that. <laughs> Let's go get your sister. You gonna show us the way? Full of beans today. <laughs> Learning how to climb. Gigi's actually a climbing instructor. <laughs> All the children playing? <laughs> Gemma is walking backwards. New challenge of the day. She's still walking backwards. I'm going to go see the colours. Want to go see the colours? Here we go. Gemma, everybody's very excited to see the all the colours in the fence. That is like a silvery white, isn't it? That one is blue. Yeah. 
That's yellow. Big giant bin. Big giant bin. some food here. I think I'm going to make some nice veggie noodle ramen tonight. Um, Bruce and Gady are meant to be out later. Gentle, gentle. Make snuggles. What is that? I'm a pooper. Ow. Hey! Getting ready to dance, as you can tell. Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Oh. Had our dinner. I'm tired. All right, tired. it's nearly bedtime. We'll have our dance. We'll do our things. Of 2016, and we're dancing, and we have JD, and we have Bruce, and we have the girls who are cats. Enjoy, raise some energy every single day. We love you. Do we do what? Come on, dance every single day. Keep dancing, sending the love out there to you. Raise some energy. See you all tomorrow for more. One thing I have noticed, again still, that top is bulging on the fear, whereas this one isn't, it's nice and kind of still loose, like there's nothing kind of building up inside. Some love body. He's... Hey. Are you finished? I'm going to put a little bit more love into there. Okay. How about an extra kiss? Mama, an extra kiss. It's interesting how a sentence, you have to kind of extend the sentence with lots of punctuation to try and get the idea across and to watch your companions, the giraffe and spider, Fred and Emma. This isn't called Don't Go to Bed if I can on my head. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I thought it was okay to go to bed with the carrot in your head. Into the new car for the business. I don't know actually which car they're going to do. That's a surprise. Which car are they going for? I wouldn't see the I like the new car. I think I'd like to drive the new car. There you go. Little cats having some cat milk and cat biscuits before bed. I, I need them. I need. Uh, I need. I just need. Um, Mr. Redbeard? I don't know. I'm very proud of her. This is Bodhi drinking out of a mug when she was very nervous about drinking out of a mug. I finished my milk. You finished your milk already. We were given some biscuits, so I thought the girls might enjoy them for supper. Mm. Well, there we go. You don't have many biscuits in this house. It's not something we'd ever buy. Oh, so yummy.
But there you go. Some people might be like really jammed out. Why are you so excited about MSK? <laughs> because you don't get many of them, that's why. So I'm really excited though because Bodie's three years old and we're having some extreme difficulties getting her through some little stages. Well, yes, we were going through some potty training trauma because we moved, yeah! her, we moved her to big girl pants and it backfired and she decided she didn't want to go to the bathroom and we've been struggling since. What does backfire about, mean? It didn't work well. We thought, we thought if we put her in big girl pants that she would go to the toilet like a big girl. Instead, she held it all in and we're like two months down the track and still having big difficulties. We did one <laughs> You've done a few, but oh my goodness. There's two people. Two people. No. Careful, there's milk in that. No. They're few no. and far between, and they're not good, so she. Oh. No. It's a story. It's not a fun story. It's, it's a real life no. story. No. So, yes, we're back to training pants from no. Big Girl Pants. No. Step backwards. No. Um, no. So, yes, I took. She was still in her bottle, cause she, uh, one bottle a day uh, for milk a bed. No. Yes, you are. And she was not to be persuaded to let go of it. So I drew the line. She's not been well again for the past few weeks. And since Christmas. All this has been going off with training pants. I don't want to put her through any more trauma. But, you know, I decided, no, we're going to move her to either a mug or a cup or something. And that has been traumatic for her for the past few days. And obviously the next one is the dummy. Everybody said that it's really easy to wean them off dummies at Christmas. Everybody said it was really easy to wean them off if you use, like, oh, Santa, if you hang out on the Christmas tree, Santa will swap it. Well, Bodhi obviously has enough stuff. <laughs> that wasn't a good enough thought to get rid of her dummy. So, that'll be interesting. Cause she actually doesn't have her big dummies anymore and is using the dummies that were in the dolly box for her dollies. So, I don't know. And I used to say it myself. Sometimes you're actually doing it a lot less. I like that. You actually suck your thumb a lot less than I you used to. Well, I suck it the most I've been probably, because that makes me feel sleepy. You do. She even sucks it in the middle. Yeah. She's sleeping. No. And she sucks it. I'm sure in the sonogram has a picture. No. Anyway. And Bo, you don't suck your sister's head. I know, but Gemma's head's on my lap. <laughs> Sisters! All right, kids. We'll get the little kids off to bed. Bruce and JD are off out for the night in Edinburgh so they can enjoy them. I might get some kids to do something here. All right, everybody ready? Are you going to say goodbye to everybody? Yeah. Mm -hmm.